Hi, Hi Errol. Errol. Hello, and go oh, listen to that harmony. My God, you guys have been working together because I mean, to be in harmony like that, wow. <laughs> That's what we do, yes, Errol. I mean, it, it's one of those things. A lot of a lot of people don't understand that creativity. When 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 we collaborate our energies together, it's amazing how we think the same, we act the same, and we can still be our individual selves. But we do a lot of things in harmony. Yeah, Amen. I agree. I agree to that. I like that. I I got to tell you about this freebie. It took me not even a full second to download this baby and to find out what you guys are all about on this. I mean, it is amazing. Oh, Thank that's you. so kind. Thank you for downloading yet another streaming service just for us. Yeah, we but appreciate you. <laughs> it, it, it's more than a, a streaming service because I, I need that comedy. I need that binge watch. And Sprung is that one thing where we get to center around a subject that's around us, but we're not doing it in a way where you're turning a crime into a right reason. I like a storyline like that. I think everyone loves a Robin Hood story. Yes. And, and I think, you know, you're right. It's not just a streaming service, which I tell all of my family and friends and, you know, our followers and our fans. It's like we can laugh and heal, uh, you know, and, and talk about COVID, even though we're still going through it. I think laughter is just the best remedy. Now, Philip, for you, what you know, the, the, a show like this changes people's lives in the way that people get out of prison every day. And if they see a story like this on Sprung, I mean, it, it, it really it's going to give them an opportunity to find hope and faith in their own personal lives. Yeah, I think that's a, a, a really beautiful part of it. I don't think Greg, uh, Greg Garcia, our writer and creator, I don't think he was thinking about it too heavy at all. I think um, he saw, you know, that this actually happened. He wanted to kind of, you know, use it as a, a, a backstory or whatever. But I've gotten a lot of people reach out and say, hey, thank you so much because mm -hmm. you're shedding a light on something that's really serious and something that's, um, you know, uh, definitely an issue in the United States and beyond. But um, yeah, I think imagine this, you're in, you're in prison for, you have a sentence for 26 years for something that is for, for, um, for, uh, for weed, <laughs> for, for marijuana, you know, back in that's the basically legal, you know, it's basically legal now. <laughs> now it is, which it's so silly to think about that it's yeah. for 24 years for something, you know, it's your mm -hmm. first offense, you know, type thing. So it really, really just an awful situation. Imagine being in prison and then you get mm -hmm. out and then it's a global pandemic. Mm -hmm. So that, that in itself, I think is just, I think, I don't think we're really laughing at the pandemic. I think we're laughing along at ourselves at the, especially at the beginning part of the pandemic, you know, and, and, and our lead character played by Garrett Dillahunt, um, his character's name is Jack. I think he does such a good job in balancing the the zany. And he definitely has some zany moments, but it's some it's some real stuff, you know. And um, thank you for asking that question. I think that's a that's a really important um, topic, you know. Um, but I I think <laughs> I think yeah I think Garrett does a really good job. He gets out. He's 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 not he's not really sure whether he could touch his face. And he's, <laughs> you know he's all, all this. Uh, all of us at the beginning of the pandemic. I mean, you remember that, right? Yeah, of course I do. Uh -huh. You know, March of 2020 is 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 well planted inside my soul because as as an entertainer, I lost everything. Now the question was, what can I do as an entertainer to help other entertainers refine their stage? Uh huh. Uh huh. And and that's yes, and that's what I love about the community of entertainment: writers, directors, musicians, and actors. We all came together because we know that real people needed to be in a position to where they could escape. And that's what see. And you're doing it right here with Sprung. You're giving us that continuation of escape. Yeah, I think it's I think it's escapism, but I think also it's how do we how do we come together in a time yeah. where we're not allowed to. Uh, and I, I think that's a, that's a huge theme in the show is family, you know, the, the, the family that we, you know, are born with, but then also the family that we get to choose along the way. So you know, uh, we had to our, our, our group of uh, actors kind of had to shelter in place at the beginning of the uh, 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 of the show or whatever. And so then as the story goes, we're dealing with it all together, you know. We're we're all in the same household, like everybody else was. We're trying to figure it out, and 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 how do you? It, it's just like a lot of fear involved in in the early pandemic days, but then also just 
there's there's a lot of unknowns in regular life without a pandemic as well. So how do you deal with that? And uh, yeah, I think I think again, Greg did such a great job in in balancing the two worlds. You know, I think a great comedy definitely has its funny slapsticky kind of oh my god outrageous moments but then a, a a good comedy also has real and heartfelt human yep. um you know moments so uh i th- i'm proud to say that this show definitely represents that there the one thing that i learned in, in being with so many comedians and stuff like that is if if people can't relate with the pain and with the light and stuff like that then then that you have no comedy and and they say you, that's why you've got to do, you've always got to be a people watcher and study the habits of everyday people and that's what you guys are doing here on sprung because i mean greg garcia i, I realize that he's bringing all this together but the actors you guys are going to become iconic just like my name is earl and and raising hope he has this way of creating iconic people yeah, it's really interesting to watch his past shows and see, you know, the pattern that exists and like the little cult following, little, the large cult following that Greg Garcia has. And it was, it, it just now is coming to fruition for me anyway, yeah. is, is like, wow, this, this, we're a part of this. We're a part of this legacy that he's creating. It's, it's really awesome. What what is it like for the two of you when you get when you get your scripts and, and, and all of a sudden you're going, Oh, so this is this is what we're going to turn around this time. How are we gonna make this into a point where it's like, Yeah, yeah, this is it? And then because when you make that connection with the viewer, then we're going, Yeah, this is it. And then then we become the you know, we're we're basically the influencers by telling people that they gotta find it. Yeah, I think it, it was fun to kind of see what, what, how uh, Greg, because uh, you know we we maybe read the first four episodes initially, mm-hmm. and then and then as we went on, and 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 mind you, we're doing our table reads on Zoom, okay? Like <laughs> yeah. we didn't we didn't, yeah. we didn't get to we didn't get to be in person, right, Shaq? Like like that was kind of a, an interesting part. Of, we're we're basically making a show that centers around a pandemic during a pandemic and then <laughs> yeah. we're going to shoot it and then we're going to shoot it in 11 weeks in Pittsburgh while the pandemic is still technically going on so it yeah. was def- it was definitely interesting to try and figure it out but you see as you go along i think about the the third episode i was like wow okay <laughs> greg he definitely thought about this he's definitely has a lot of backstory for all these characters and and but then he also allows us to to take the helm a little bit and say, hey, this is kind of where I want to go with my character. This is kind of where I want to go nice. with, you know, my character's backstory. He was he was pretty lenient. I, I, anytime you pitched an idea, I was like, hey, yeah. So this is who I would cast as my dad, and he was like, cool. <laughs> uh, or like you know, or like uh, I would send him pictures of me and my facial hair. I'll be like, dude, this is how long I want my mustache. And he's like, okay, cool. Uh, uh, you know, so it, it was, it was a, definitely a collaborative process, but, um, yeah, my, technically my first experience being a lead in a show and, and, uh, no, what better way to do it than in a Greg Garcia comedy. Wow. Well, I, I told James and Claire this morning that you guys are headed to the Emmys and, and so, and I, I will say it to you guys too. I can't wait to see you guys up there accepting that trophy. Wow. Aww, dude, thank that's you so, much. so wonderful. Well, yes, that means a I lot. We just that. watched it. We just watched it last night. So that's yes, nice. thank great. you so much. Manifest that for us. Please. Yes. Yes. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Please come back to this show anytime in the future. The door is always going to be open for the two of you. Oh, thank you so much. Be brilliant. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. And you guys be great too. And keep it up with Sprung because this is going to become the conversation piece of the fall. Thank you. I like the sound of that.